from Team Debsters. This is my team video presentation. My age is nine and I am competing in Co-Space Rescue U12. I am from Singapore and my robotics experience is that I have gone to several robotics classes and learned to build a few different robots. My aim was to earn as many points as possible. My robot mostly traveled around the edges of the map and it picked up gems from the edge of the map. This code could get up to a thousand points, but it wasn't too good. My aim was to collect as many colored gems as possible. I needed to be able to avoid traps, collect gems, deposit gems, and that's it. The task will mostly be complete by doing the mini tasks that I have stated. I used some advanced conditions to make sure I did not waste any time. The advantages of using advanced conditions are that I can make it so that when I am fully loaded, I won't stop to collect more gems. It would mostly collect from edges, therefore not maximizing the amount of gems I could collect. As in the video, it shows you what my advanced condition does. The advanced conditions say that if it has six objects on it, then don't pick it up. No, then pick it up. The edges of the map have no traps, which is good. If it is not full, then pick it up, else leave it. That is my advanced condition, basically. My robot would only stay around the edges, so I put a code to make it cover more ground. This video says that it's following the wall, and this video shows that it's covering more ground. My conclusion is that my result was great. More ground was covered as I made my robot not just travel around the edges as stated in the videos before. I would like to learn to collect mostly in special zones. My co-space learning experience is that I have learned to program a co-space robot and I have gained the ability to analyze problems better. Thank you for viewing my presentation.